wait to hear those evil monks. So let's play the next fastest finger question. Put the following bodies of water in geographical order, starting with the northernmost. Massachusetts Bay, Hudson Bay, Biscayne Bay, Chesapeake Bay. Okay, everybody, time's up. Now, let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the north, and it is Hudson Bay. And then Massachusetts Bay, further south, Chesapeake Bay, and then finally Biscayne Bay. Let's see you got it right. In the past time, the winner is Henry Olsen. Henry, congratulations. Good for you. Henry going to take a crack at the big bucks when we come back. Olson from Yardley, Pennsylvania, in the hot seat right now. He's an executive director of a think tank here in Manhattan. Commutes in every day, every morning. Goes back home every night. It's about an hour and 45 minutes from here, right? That's right. So now a think tank. A lot of people wonder what goes on in a think tank. Well, we think about what, uh, how to make life in American cities and other public policies better. And we advise people in government and we write op-eds and we publish a magazine. And who finances this? It's a voluntary contribution. We're a charity and we get contributions from individuals, corporations and private foundations. Mm -hmm. Good for you. I, of I often wondered about that. Well, Henry, it's good to have you here. Uh, and well, let me say hello to your wife as well. Kathy, nice to have you here as well. You're, a, you're an attorney. Yes, I am. Very good. All right, well, let's go to work, okay, Henry? You know about the rules, you know about the lifelines, you know how much money you're playing for, so let's think about this and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Henry Olsen. One hundred dollars. According to a common phrase, once you have memorized the list, you know it by what? Head, heart, heel, uvula. Oh, once you memorize the list, you know it by heart, B. Yes, indeed, you know it by heart. We're going for $200 here, and check it out, Henry. When you discuss something in frank terms, it is said you're talking what? Hamburger, turkey, pastrami, on Oprah. <laughs> uh, when you're talking frank, you are talking turkey. Talking turkey is the right answer for $200. Going for 300. What do jewelers call a diamond's sparkle? Wattage, class, brilliance, kids' college tuition. I hate to use it this early, but I'm going to ask the audience. Why not? If you're not familiar with it, why don't we do it? Henry needs your help, everybody. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Eighty-four percent say brilliance. Well, I will go with the audience and say brilliance. Final. Yes. Yes, brilliance is the right answer. Okay, we move on now to the $500 question. Henry, here it is. Which of these game show names means peril? Jeopardy, Scrabble, Wheel of Fortune, Greed. That would be Jeopardy. Final answer. Yes, Jeopardy, Peril, I don't understand. Up to $1,000. Adopted on July 30th, 1956, what is the official motto of the United States of America? And justice for all, we the people, this land is our land, in God we trust. That would be in God we trust, D. Yes, in God we trust, is the motto. Okay, we're up to the $2,000 question. Take a look. Which of these types of restaurants would most likely serve chicken teriyaki? Chinese, German, Japanese, Mexican. Chicken teriyaki would be most likely served in a Japanese restaurant. C. Final answer. Got it for $2,000. Up to 4,000, Henry. What is the term for a substance that can neutralize an acid? Litmus, base, 
alcohol, decanter. A substance that can neutralize an acid, I believe, is a base. B, final answer. Yes, sir, for $4,000, it's the base. Okay, Henry, here it comes for $8,000. In the 2000 film Wonder Boys, what does Michael Douglas's character do for a living? Stockbroker, college professor, carpenter, decorator. Hmm. I take it you didn't see that. I did not see that movie. Okay. I'm trying to decide whether to go for it or use a lifeline. I think I'm going to take a guess. Um, I think I'm going to go with the college professor. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. He was a college professor. You won $8,000. When we come back, he'll go for $16,000. And he'll be right back in a moment. Henry Olson, Yardley, Pennsylvania, the executive director of a think tank here in Manhattan. What is the name of the think tank? Uh, I'm the director of the Center for Civic Innovation at the Manhattan Institute. The think tank itself is the Manhattan Institute. Manhattan Institute, fine. And when you think, Henry, do you just sit behind a desk? All of you sit around a table and then think? Well, we've got lots of people, about 30 people doing thinking, and I talk to them during the day and administer their different projects. And do they debate each other about what is the... No, they're experts in their area. They pretty much work on their own and work with their research well, assistants. Why don't we just relax and let you run the country? Well, <laughs> then I'd have to actually go out and do all the things the people who run it do. That's really hard. Yeah, it really is. All right, good. Well, here's where you are right now. You've got two lifelines left. You've won $8,000. We're going for 16. You're just seven away, Henry. It can be done. Let's play. $16,000, Henry. A koala is classified as what? Marsupial, rodent, primate, insectivore. A koala hangs from trees, and I think it's one of those that has a pouch. So... I'm going to say marsupial. Okay, final answer? Yeah. Yes, a marsupial. Okay, Henry, very important. 32,000. Here it is. Who did uh, William Rehnquist succeed as Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court in 1986? Earl Warren, Warren Berger, Thurgood Marshall, William Brennan. Marshall and Brennan were never chief justices, and Earl Warren retired in, his, I think it was 69. Uh, so the answer is uh, B, Warren Berger. Final answer. Just won $32,000. Warren Berger, the right answer. Closer and closer we get now. He's five away, and he's going for 64000 which of these standard U.S. traffic signs is black and white? Pedestrian crossing, yield, one-way, merging traffic. Uh, yield is white and red. Merging traffic is usually yellow and black. Pretty sure pedestrian crossing is the same. One way I've always seen is black and white, so I'll say C, one way. Final. Yes. Yes, for $64,000, the one-way sign, black and white. 